got a chance here to make amends and do something for this person who had caused all this heartache to. Make amends enabled me to get the justice I needed, even though it wasn't the outcome I wanted. It, it helped settle something within me that wasn't hurting no more. Only when I got um, involved with restorative justice did I feel that I had someone at my back. It's only now that I feel understood. I'm getting the answers that I've waited so, so long for. Locked up in the house all the time. When I interact in, so I was just all alone by myself. I kind of turned a corner in my life where I didn't want to be like that anymore. I don't want to be a victim in holding on to that hate. I think the purpose of wanting to meet with him was for my own sake, for my own sort of clarity more than anything else, to sit before the person that had taken the life of my partner. I wanted to say sorry to her and I wanted to try and do something about it. The last image that I actually had of the person uh, was them actually standing over me and attacking me. I still see him coming out of that room and facing him. It gets absolutely embedded in your mind. So the motivation for me was to try and see if I could change that image. I could see the person in a, in a different way. First of all, I started one letter and then I thought, oh God, what do I say to you? And then I ended, I ended up screwing up a few pieces of paper and throwing them away. In the end, I thought, no, just, just say what you're going to say and then try to make it a little bit neater for her. Because, you know, she deserves that at least. And by writing this letter, it, it, it made me look at myself and be aware of what I was, a washed up, washed out heroin addict. And I just say, if I could turn back the clocks and fix all the wrongs, I would do it. But I can't change the wrongs that I've done. And I just wanted you to know that I am sorry for what I did to you. I really am so sorry. Words cannot describe it. Actually, it's quite simple that I just wanted to share a remorse. So the research shows that restorative justice can reduce re-offending anywhere between 14 and 21%. It's about two people, they own the conflict. We just facilitate a safe process that enables them to communicate with each other. I just felt like I had a network around me. It did make me feel I had a safe place to land when I couldn't cope. From the moment that Make Amends were involved to actually helping me through, preparing me for the process actually being there on the day and to be there supporting me afterwards. Yeah, I'd give it a 10 out of 10. It's just always been a brilliant service throughout. And there was never ever any pressure if, if I decided it was something that um, I couldn't pursue. I certainly think without them that I would still be in the place that I was before. I still wouldn't have the answers. Uh, I still wouldn't be able to bring about closure. I was surprised. I was surprised that she would wish me all the best for the future when I'd done that to her, you know. So she would say, throw the key away on him or something. And she never made me feel a bit upset a bit. That, you know, it just made me feel a bit upset, actually. It's like a big bad wolf. Now you're facing him and you're seeing he's not a big bad wolf. It's just someone with a tremendous amount of problems. It's not easy to find the courage to do something and face a person. I don't think I was brave at all, no. I think it took the lady more courage for her to, to, for her to say, well, yeah, yeah, we'll have a look at this. Instead of her closing the door on it, I think she was more brave than me. I feel empowered now. It gave me a voice. It did. It just felt like somebody was listening to me and really, like, I felt like I, somebody understood. It really is restorative. I would never have been able to make peace. I would still be in a mess over it. It's just made me feel a little bit better, not much, but a little bit better, that I've tried to do something 
For me, Make Amends has been a really positive experience. It's enabled me to move forward in my life. I think freedom, if I'm honest. It gave me freedom, the freedom of expression. I'm definitely in a much more positive place. You know, I'm growing with confidence. I'm finally moving on with my life. You've got nothing to lose, everything to get. Just take part in it and see what it does for you. And I guarantee it will make you feel better. I guarantee it will. And if it doesn't, there's something wrong with you. <laughs>